Okay, question. You make an audio file, Space Echo? Can you take a tape delay and like, audio file, mod it? I've been watching those videos about these like 60 year old Japanese guys who have these like million dollar stereo systems. Salary man living in a small apartment and spend a million dollars on a stereo. They choose special cables and like acoustically isolate their whole apartments. They just do absolutely bonkers, crazy, interesting stuff. And one of the things is they will like create these like in-depth profiles of different op amps. Show the EQ curves and like noise and blah blah of all these different op amps that they might use in their stereo systems. So the other day I was working on this Space Echo, Roland SRE555. One of the best Space Echo you can buy. It's got the chorus, thing just sounds fantastic. Everybody loves these things, they're great. So like when you're restoring one of these things, what are the things you typically do? Of course, replace all the capacitors with like nice Rubicons, Panasonics, Nishicons in the audio path, blah, blah, blah. All those things will make these things sound really, really good. But I was looking at the schematic <laughs> and, and I saw that in the audio path, there are all these old op amps, these LF353s, and three of them are marked selected for low noise. And they're like splattered with a little bit of yellow paint on them. So you can tell like, Oh yeah, these are the super low noise op amps that you want. And I was thinking about those Japanese audio files and I was like, okay, well, you guys want low noise op amps here. What if I like way overdid it? Instead of spending, you know, 75 cents on some 353s, what if I like spend $7 on the craziest, lowest noise audio file, high spec op amp you can get? So I did a little digging in these like weird audio file forums and I settled on the OPA 2134. <laughs> so then I socketed all these op amps and I did, I'm, I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm, you can feel how excited I am. You can feel what insane quirked up white boy energy I have. But I want to know, can anyone tell the difference between these crazy expensive audiophile op amps and the regular ones that are inside every Roland Space Echo that you've ever played? So I've socketed the op amps. We're going to do one test on guitar with the 353s that it came with from 60 years ago, 50 years ago, 40, 40 years ago. I can't do math. I'm too excited. And then we're going to play the same thing on guitar through these insanely expensive audiophile op amps and we will see can you tell the difference <laughs> is this real is it real is it cool let's find out Okay, so obviously a newly restored Space Echo with a brand new tape, a uh, brand new set of rollers, fully recapped, um, everything fixed up. Of course, it's going to sound good, and it does. It sounds good. It sounds good with the 353s. I, I like it. it. Sounds nice. Now let's go to the OPAs. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is actually translating through the recording, but in the room, it actually does feel quite different. Uh, the second that I started playing these guys, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> like, I thought this was mostly gonna be a joke, but like actually when I turned that thing on and started playing, I was actually like, oh wow, I can f feel a difference here. I think the 353s sort of uh, emphasize the low end a lot, whereas these feel very clean. I mean, okay, the noise floor is a lot lower on these, so it's not surprising that I would feel that way, but I feel like it's giving me like a lot of like breath and like space. So, okay, maybe uh, let's try play a little bit more here and you can just, what do you think? Are, are you hearing what I'm hearing? I'm not trying to clickbait you guys, but I'm just curious, like what, what do you guys think? Is anyone hearing what I'm hearing?
I like it a lot. Um, maybe tell me in the comments, is there some reason that this is really a stupid idea? Is, am I gonna break my type of core? I don't, everything seems good to me. Do you hear a difference? What, what does it sound like to you? Does it sound better? I'm gonna call this a success. I think, I think basically, I think the ultimate endorsement of this video is not clickbait is that I do not want to continue testing these anymore. I do not want to go back to 353s. I'm just gonna keep these in and play my Space Echo and have a really freaking fun time. So, uh, sorry, the video is gonna end here, and I'm just gonna go, uh, play guitar. Cheers.